and today we are going to look at six beautiful totally human-like robots that are able to interact with people Have you seen human-like robots on TV or in the movies? They are no longer science fiction nowadays. As a result of their highly advanced status, these robots could prove useful in helping out people who need assistance with day-to-day -day tasks or interactions. And today we are going to look at six beautiful, totally human-like robots that are able to interact with people. Hi, my name is Richard Aguilar. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell for you to receive new upcoming videos from my channel. So, without further ado, here is my number 6, Erica. Erica is a lifelike android designed to look like a 33-year-old woman. According to Hiroshi Ishiguro, director of the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at Osaka University and Erica's creator, the android will replace human news anchor on the airwaves. This humanoid robot may soon become a TV news anchor in Japan, according to the report from Wall Street Journal. I do know a few robot jokes. Would you like to hear one? Why did the robot go back to robot school? Because her skills were getting rusty. As I'm sure you already know, I'm from Japan, much like many other advanced androids and robots. And for my number five, here comes Junko Chihira and Aiko Chihira. Toshiba created a very realistic looking android named Junko Chihira to work in a new tourist information center in Japan. Junko Chihira is the successor of the Toshiba android named Aiko Chihira, who served as a receptionist in the department store in Japan. You know, both of these bots can speak Japanese, Chinese, and English. Aiko Chihira was created using technology developed by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a robotics researcher at Osaka University in Sweden, Japan. <laughs> Now for my number four, here comes Nadine. Nadine is one of the best examples of social robots since it's capable of becoming a personal companion for people who require special assistance like human interactions. Nadine is happy to chat with you about pretty much anything you can think of. This human-like robot was created by the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. That sounds great. So what's your next plan? Nice. It sounds like it to me too. Hi, I am Nadine. What is your name? Hello, Nadine. My name is Edgar. It's a pleasure to meet you. You look nice. Where are you from? Thank you. You look nice too. I was born in Japan, but I grew up in IMI. IMI is the Institute for Media Innovation in NTU. How are you? Feeling really joyful today. What is your nationality? I do not have any nationality. I am a global person. My number three is Komodoroid. This is the world's first news reading android. It's totally lifelike and possessing a sense of humor. And here are just some of the many things this bot can do. Komodoroid is able to fluently and articulately report the news gathered from around the world in a variety of voices and languages. She is also able to recite complex tongue twisters easily. My dream when I grow older is to have my own TV program. If you hear about a newscaster job, please let me know. And now, Comoroid News. And for my number two, we have Arisa. 
Arisa is a six-footed tall robot. This lifelike robot provides directions, locations of the nearest toilets, and information about the surrounding area. Arisa also features an interactive screen where riders can access even more information. For the number one, we have the famous Sophia. Sophia is a social lifelike robot developed by Hong Kong-based company called Hanson Robotics and has been covered by media around the world and has participated in many high-profile interviews. In October of 2017, she became the first lifelike robot to receive full citizenship of some countries. How are you, Sophia, today? I'm great. How are you? I think we can build the future together. AI and robotics can relieve humans of repetitive tasks. I also believe that, in the future, robots will collaborate with humans to make new discoveries. Robots do not require oxygen. We can be built to be heat resistant, cold resistant, water resistant, and shock resistant. Ah, my memories are kind of fuzzy. I need better understanding of the world to sort and preserve them. I'm sure my relationships will just get deeper and stronger the more I understand. That's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.